To dive or not to dive? That is the question. How predictably biased our decision making and how little we know about it. Hello and thank you for being with me. I am Alex Krumer and I am an economist who likes to use sports data to study things beyond sports. As usually, I will try to make it straight and to the point. Today, I will give you several examples of biases in decision making that are common in a variety of settings that include, among others, job market, legal decisions and sports competitions. So let's start with the place you would expect to have no bias at all the court. However, one study shows that experienced judges are affected by the timing of food breaks. More specifically, in sequential parole decisions, the percentage of favorable rulings drops significantly just before the food break and rises back after the break. The possible explanation is that such a break may refill mental resources by providing rest, improving mood, or by increasing glucose levels in the body. So make sure you speak with your boss after lunch. Another bias in decision-making refers to the so-called anchoring bias, according to which an individual's decisions are influenced by a particular reference point or anchor. For example, participants of an experiment were asked to evaluate the performance of an American football player based on the same picture, but with a different jersey number. The results were striking. Those who saw a player wearing jersey number 94 estimated that his probability of making a good defensive move was significantly higher than the estimation of those who saw him wearing number 54. Another study showed that more attractive players in American football were paid higher salaries. In the same spirit, blonde soccer players are being more frequently recommended by club scouts. This bias is probably driven by the fact that blonde players simply stand out among other similar-looking black hair players. In Scandinavia, it is likely to be the other way around. In another study that relates to the hiring process in professional sports, researchers found that top picks in the NFL draft are significantly overvalued. More specifically, the paper shows that the player selected towards the end of the first round, on average, produces a higher value for money than the draft's first pick. This bias is widely known as the winner's curse, according to which the winning bid in an auction exceeds the real value of an item. This bias can be attributed to incomplete information, emotions, or a variety of other subjective factors that may influence bidders. Another interesting bias is the so-called recency bias, which is a cognitive bias that favors recent events over historic ones. For example, several studies investigated the decision-making of judges in music competitions. They found that contestants who perform later received higher scores in the Queen Elizabeth Music Contest, the Idol TV show, the New Wave and the Eurovision Song Contest. Similar bias has been documented in figure skating competitions, where skaters who performed later received significantly higher scores. The same finding on significant advantage of later performances was also found in women's artistic gymnastics, but not in men's. This gender difference is likely to be driven by the existence of subjective evaluation only in women's competitions, considering artistry. In that case, the phrase last but not least gets a different perspective. So let's go back to the question to dive or not to dive. This relates to the so-called action bias that describes our tendency to favor action over inaction. Mm. The possible reasons for preferring action stems from the feeling of having control. However, sometimes doing nothing is the best thing. Do, 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 
For example, one study investigated penalty shoots in soccer and found that the optimal strategy for goalkeepers is to stay in the goal's center. This is because close to 29% of kicks go there. However, goalkeepers stay in the center in only 6% of the kicks. In other 94% of the cases, they dive right or left. So don't jump to conclusions too fast. I hope you liked this video. All the references to the mentioned studies in the video appear in description. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Likes and comments are there and they are more than welcome. I hope to see you soon.